Shipping in WordPress can be something as simple as flat rate shipping or something as complex as FedEx shipping. And therein lies the problem because there are so many options and it can get really confusing. So in this module of how to WordPress in Sikalafi Academy, this is all about shipping. Here is the shipping interface on the back end on my demo website. To access it, all you have to do is go to WooCommerce, Settings, and then click on Shipping. If you're just getting started with your store, your back end right over here and your settings will look very similar to what I have here because on my demo website, I, well, barely ever touched shipping. So this is the first time I'm ever going to be using it here and you're going to follow along straight with me. So going along with the options, Obviously, and if you, you can enable and disable shipping throughout the whole site, simply by clicking this button. Now, the important thing is, especially for a lot of us who sell physical products, is to enable the shipping calculator. But this setting right here enables the shipping calculator on the cart page right here, instead of just on the checkout page. Some of us don't want it here. I actually kind of prefer it here, but that's personal preference. You don't have to. You can keep it all on the checkout page by simply not checking this button. Same thing with this. You can hide the shipping costs until somebody gives an address. This is super useful because maybe you don't want to tell somebody how much is going to ship and give them a general idea of what it might cost because they might think, oh yeah, flat rate shipping is only, let's say, 10 bucks. But then they enter the address and it's like, oh no, you can't do regular flat rate. We have to do this other special rate and it's $30. Oh no. That might be one reason you might want to hide it from people. Most of the time, I leave this enabled because most things won't show up anyway until I add some address. Kind of like on our site here, you can use it here, but you just have to give a zip code, which gives you more or less a good idea of what shipping will cost. How you display the shipping options is also configurable. You can have it as radio buttons, as we have here, or you can have it as a drop down, which I don't usually prefer. Why? This, this kind of looks nicer and it's easier to see all of these things all in one row. That's our personal preference. Next is something actually very important. The shipping destination, should we default it to the shipping address, the billing address, or only ship to the customer's billing address? We personally barely ever use this one, but there's a huge difference in how your checkout page will look like whether you select this option or this option. So what's the difference between ship default to shipping address and default to billing address? Well, if you default to the shipping address, when somebody finally clicks to the cart and then says, yes, I'm going to buy, proceed to the checkout page, they're going to see, well, fill in their billing details and they're going to, this is going to be checked, ship to a different address. It's going to be checked by, by default. So they have to fill out their info again. That is shown by default if you have default to shipping address checked. But if we select default to billing address, when somebody goes here, all they're going to see by default is, of course, I clicked it here because my settings are not that. So they're going to see just this, just the billing stuff. Oh, do I need to ship a different address? Most likely not. For most people, they ship to the same address that they bill to. And that's it. It's much smaller screen, one less step for them to do. Unless, which is a small majority of people, they ship to a different address than they bill to. The next question can be, well, important for many of us. Because many of us, well, retail owners who ship stuff, do not want to ship internationally for whatever reason. If you want to ship, ship well, semi-locally. For example, many of my clients just want to ship to the USA because they have perishable products and they're not, definitely not going to ship those internationally. So they say, you know, we're just going to ship to the USA or to UK, to Britain, to anywhere in Asia, you know, whatever it is. You can pick a country or a few countries. So if you want to restrict this, you can click this button because by def it defaults to ship to anybody and everywhere. You can click to ship to all countries or ship to specific countries only. So if you click this one, you can start selecting where you're going to sell to. And that's pretty handy. Now you might have noticed that there are two very similar options, ship to all countries you sell to and ship to all countries. 
ship to all countries, if you select this one, it will ship anywhere regardless of who you sell to. For example, let's say I sell to only people in America. That's okay. That's a setting over there. That's in another module. But I can ship anywhere. If they, for example, put their US billing details here, which is what I'd need them to do, but click ship to different address, they can put anywhere else in the world. That's what ship to all countries does. Ship to all countries you sell to would be, oh well, yes, they'd have to enter a US address. And if they tried to put a non-US address here, it wouldn't work because it'll default to and limit it to selling to only the countries that I've selected that I sell to over here in the general settings. And this is where the fun begins. This is where we have our shipping methods, how we're going to actually get this thing out the door and to the customer well, or client. Well, the fun part is it comes with a few default options that we can configure in a decent amount and make it work really well for most items. You can also, which is really, really fun, reorganize them. All you have to do is left click and hold and you can drag around the order of these things, kind of like you can reorder the menu in WordPress. You can sort these things. So if you're using more than one shipping method, for example, using free shipping and flat rate shipping, which would you want to show up first over here? If I had free shipping enabled here, do I want flat rate shipping to show first or flat rate? If I had FedEx here, USPS, which ones do I want on top or on bottom or in the middle? You can set that. Same thing with here, but I prefer just doing, you know, click and drag, much easier. Also visually, visually appealing. By default, you also have installed flat rate, flat rate international, I'll get to that in a minute, free shipping, local delivery, I'll get to that in a minute as well, and local pickup. Now, you might be wondering, well, I don't need any of those. I need something more complicated. If you need something more complicated, and many of us do, you can jump over to WooThemes, click on their WooCommerce extensions, and then click on over here. You can go to WooCommerce extensions and then filter just by shipping methods. I like to sort by popularity. They have a lot of extra extensions for pretty much any major shipping service you can think of. They have table rate shipping, which is another thing I'll get to in another section in this module. They're shipping tracking, USPS, or UPS, USPS, FedEx, there's DHL somewhere in here. Um, they have a whole bunch of new uh, stuff that's going on. This one I've wanted for a while. It's kind of interesting, actually. Um, you can go through stamps.com. There was, there's a few European shippers here as well, if I remember correctly. I wonder what happened to DHL. But anyway, you have all these available to you and more, especially if you go, because this is just the quote unquote official ones from WooThemes, but you can find more stuff on Theme Forest and or script for whatever it's called these days, Code Canyon. Anyway, you can find more stuff there and, and other sites to get more plugins to help you get more other shipping options here. Starting out, we are going to use just the built-in ones. In the later sections in this module, we are going to get into the more complex shipping methods and how they all put together, how get get all working and configure it. But for now, let me give you a brief overview of flat rate shipping, which is the next video in this series, and the free, free shipping. Now, flat rate and international flat rate. These are very, very important because a lot of people were asking this from WooCommerce. They're like, well, there's flat rate for where I live, but I need another flat rate for somewhere else, not in the same country. It doesn't matter if it's international or not. You can set this. You pick where these are flat rates to. So this is ba these are basically identical. Seriously, they're pretty much identical. The only difference is you can set, this one will be, for example, just US only, and this will be everywhere, not the USA. Or you can you know, do it the reverse, it doesn't matter. They're pretty much identical. And all you have to do to use both of them if you want to, just enable it. How do you enable a module in here? For example, as you can see we have FedEx here, so we back here have FedEx listed. Well, you can simply click on, in this case, click on flat rate and click enable or disable. The first option, well, pretty much first option in any plugin or module for shipping is gonna be enable or not the shipping module. Well, if you're gonna use it, you want it enabled. 
a few of the modules let you change the name. As you saw here, for local pickup, we changed the name. That's another module here. We changed the name to local pickup, but you must live in blah, blah, blah. That's just the name we wrote. And we also put the code in back there to limit this thing in that way. But you can name it anything we want, anything you want. Another one of my clients wrote flat rate US only. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what you name, what you name it. And of course, set it to this stuff. But that's in the next video. So that's the brief overview of shipping. It, it, this part is pretty simple. The next videos is where it gets complicated. And flat rate shipping can be complica complicated. But I hope the next video is going to explain anything and everything you'd want to know about the flat rate shipping. And we're going to do free shipping right at the end of that video. So join me on the next video in this shipping module of how to WooCommerce, part of Sikalofia Academy, where we talk about all about flat rate and then go into free shipping.